guys i am such a hypocrite do you remember how i made that video like a week or two ago about how this is a really good time of year to deworm your chickens because they're not laying a bunch of eggs anyways well how about i came out to check on everybody this morning and i saw a pile of poop with a ginormous roundworm in it it was disgusting and then i like walked away for a minute to collect myself and figure out what kind of treatment i was going to do for my worms and then i decided that i was going to make a video and take a video of the worms um, to show you all and this is how that worked out Oh my god, it's worse than I thought. I walked away to go and get the dewormer that I have on hand to go back and start deworming my chickens. And the chickens ate the worm that was in the poop on the ground. And now I can't show you how fucking gross is that. Hank and I went in the coops last night and we treated each bird individually. We actually ended up using ivermectin pour on. <coughs> this is what it looks like outside of the box. And um, ivermectin use in chickens is actually an off-label use it's not approved by any official government agency which is fine because tons of chicken keepers approve and i did a lot of research before i chose to use this product and what i found is to use about two to seven drops per bird depending on the size i just used this little 3 ml dropper and did a couple drops behind the necks under the wings and around the vent um, and i chose this product because ivermectin actually treats for intestinal parasites roundworms included lice mites scaly like mites so i figured it would be an all-around treatment it's an easy treatment i know that each bird is getting treated i only had to treat one time and then i'll treat again in 10 days to catch anything that i lost and here's the thing I'm really grateful that I went in and used this product because while I was treating around the vents, I found mites on some of my chickens, which brings me around to my conclusion, okay? The last time I treated for lice, mites, and worms was in July. I feel like chickens, or maybe it's just my chickens, I feel like chickens in general are dealing with some sort of parasite, external or internal, all the time. And part of my job as a chicken keeper is just to help manage those things. So the next thing I'm gonna have to do over these next few days is go into my coops, clean out all of my nesting boxes and spray them down. I'll use Electra PSP to clean the nesting boxes and the coops in general to get any mites, lice, things that are left behind. You know, the thing that I found really interesting when I found mites on my birds while I was treating last night is there wasn't really any external signs. They're not missing a bunch of feathers. There's no scabbing. They're slow on laying, but for this time of year, that's pretty normal. And the other thing that I found is some of my birds are affected way more than others. I have to imagine that has something to do with their ability to preen themselves. Maybe it's an immunity thing. I don't know, but it was interesting that I had like maybe one to three birds who were like really, really heavy on the mites. I'm talking about where you pick them up and there's little mites on your hand, which is gross, I know. Um, and some that didn't have, you, there was no evidence of mite at all, mites at all. And that's even within the same coop. It's almost like there's like a sacrificial bird in each coop, like a companion bird, if you're a companion planting in your garden or something. Anyways, here's your sign. Um, treat your birds for lice, mites, and worms.